Look at that. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow. Showing just the contrast between. Does that not take your breath away? It really does. We're Look at that. looking at the leading edge of this intense line of storms. You're like looking at the shelf cloud from underneath it. And you can see the rain shaft there in the distance. And again, it's within those clouds that sometimes we get just those little areas of rotation and that we could maybe start to see something forming, a tornado trying to form. Some video from more. Oh, wow. wow. This is a shelf cloud. This was from the Mooresville area, I believe. Yes, Mooresville. Wow. So this is from um, Mooresville and that that one that you're looking is that shelf cloud, right? It's the leading edge of the storms. Um, and that's where you've got some of the um, straight line wind damage, right? Right up on the front as these storms work their way eastward. Um, just insane, incredible to see some of these, um, these pictures that we're getting. It really is. And again, Mooresville, uh, no reports, no official confirmation of a tornado uh, touching down just yet and we'll wait and see you know how, as some of these storm reports continue to come in if there is any damage things over now Sydney Heiberger let's bring her in live she is reporting from Huntersville right now uh, if we get her live shut up we could be able to see she's drenched obviously in all this heavy rain coming down Sydney what are you seeing in your area there well, I can tell you things in Huntersville right now are not as terrible as we have heard things have been up north, but I can tell you we're seeing some heavy rain that started almost instantaneously. A little bit of wind gusts here and there, but again, we're waiting for things to possibly get worse here. Lots of traffic on the roads, encouraging people to obviously stay home if you can. The risk for possible tornadoes has not gone away. Although I can tell you, I just spoke to some officials at Huntersville Town Hall where I'm standing right now in their town meeting meeting for six o'clock is still on right now. Of course, they live stream that. So if you don't have to be here, I would recommend you don't. But again, heavy winds out here. We're absolutely drenched, excuse me, heavy rains with a few wind gusts. And we are anticipating things could get a little bit worse throughout the next hour. Guys, I'm going to send it over to you. Uh, the tree that had fallen on the house that you see there that's behind Derek. What can you tell us there, Derek? Uh, well, we can tell you just as we pulled up that we've just been here less than 10 minutes. And in that 10 minutes, the uh, fire department has left and it looks like they've been able to get the pets that were inside here outside of the home. I've been monitoring uh, the social media pages for Charlotte Fire Department, by the way. The trees down on structures that they have, at least so far, no reported injuries and they've been able to get... Uh, anyone or for that matter anything out that they've needed to. I'm going to get out of the way so you can actually see what's happening here right now though. Again, not much is happening but you see the tree that uh, came down on this house here. It looks like the damage itself considering the circumstances is relatively uh, light. Now granted, yes, uh, there is some damage here. This does have to be said but in comparison to some of what we've seen in previous instances where uh, trees have fallen on homes, this doesn't appear to be as major as some of the others. Now uh, we need to keep in mind uh, we are in the uh, East Charlotte University area, uh, Northeast Charlotte University area. We do need to keep in mind here a lot of these uh, a lot of these uh, specific uh, issues that are showing up here in Mecklenburg County are around this area. And, and this is not to say we are out of the woods yet. We are seeing or we are hearing some uh, thunder and also seeing some lightning here in the area. So we could still be seeing some problems here over the next little bit. But as you can see here, no injuries reported here. They were able to get the pest. They were outside of the home here. And it looks like fire departments, you could hear that uh, hear that uh, horn there. They have just left this scene here. So as you can see, uh, for now, it's it's kind of a, uh, a bit of a situation where things have calmed down here considerably from the way they were, but they were able to get the pets that were home here at the time. No one, by the way, was home at the time here. Guys. Derek, we know this area was hit kind of hard when these storms came through just about an mm -hmm. hour ago. Have you, when you were on your drive over there, did you see any other damage uh, throughout the neighborhood? I did see some damage throughout the neighborhood. I uh, will say uh, not specifically in this neighborhood, but as we were heading to the location, we did see some uh, some limbs down here and there, but nothing necessarily major that would be causing any major issues with the roads. We do know the traffic, it was uh, hindered, shall we say, somewhat uh, in getting here. It took us about 30 minutes from the station to get here. It shouldn't really usually uh, take that long. Uh, but as far as the damage itself, I mean, we only saw some limbs down. For the most part, that's pretty much about it. Of course, those instances where the uh, trees have fallen 
fallen on homes, fallen on other structures around the area. We have seen that. But again, uh, we have not been out to those other locations yet, but we do know that the uh, no injuries have been reported in those instances. Derek, a lot of times when people see damage, immediately they try and help their neighbors, and they come outside, and they try and do everything they can. Are you seeing people starting that process just yet, or is everybody pretty much staying indoors as they should? Uh, for the most part, uh, it looks like, well, I will say this. When we arrived here, it looks like that there were some neighbors that were helping out, uh, the neighbors specifically here that uh, had the... Uh that had the uh, that had the uh, tree fall in their home, but other than that, uh, it was very quick, very very out of the way. It seems like we got here towards the end of it. Uh, again, as I mentioned, uh, the Charlotte Fire Department has since left the scene here. It's actually a pretty clear scene, and the only people out here right now are the media. Uh, but it does appear that there was some help, not only from firefighters, but also from the neighbors that were nearby. Yeah, and Derek we too. When you have storms like this, we know, make sure they're okay. Yeah, and we, you know, when they have storms like this, we know that uh, Duke Energy likes to have their crews mobilized in certain areas where they know it's going to be hit hard. Yes. Have you seen crews out there? They're trying to uh, do their work in some spots where we know a lot of the power's out. I will say not yet. I have not seen any Duke Energy crews out here. We know that uh, that the scattered uh, thunderstorms, uh, the scattered outages, rather, are, are basically up to the north and west of us. So here in Charlotte, not really seeing so much, or at least in this specific area of Charlotte so far. And Derek, we know that you're out there. You're standing there. You're getting drenched. We appreciate you giving us so much information about the area. But uh, Charlotte Fire did report on social media that they brought two dogs out of that property. Was that the case? Did you happen to see those yeah. dogs? Were they? Uh, did they look like they were going to be okay? Did they look traumatized or any idea of an update? They appeared to be fine. I mean, keep in mind, we came out then towards the end of this when uh, a woman was basically holding on to one of the dogs coming out. She seemed to be in good spirits, and so did the dog for that matter. It appeared to be a smaller dog, I should I should mention uh, that. Uh, we saw one of the dogs that did come out, didn't see the other dog, but one of them, they did appear to be in relatively good spirits under the circumstances. I think it was just happy to see its owner. All right, sounds good. Well, Derek Dellinger reporting to us from East Charlotte. We appreciate your coverage. Neil Pierce is in Mooresville, which is one of those really hardest hit areas right now. There are a lot of trees down, also power lines. Let's get right out to him right now, Daniel. Hey, I know we showed up uh, just within the past 10, 15 minutes, so 10 to 15 minutes, so we are still trying to get our bearings. I am on McNeely uh, Street, and I'm going to have my photographer do his best to zoom in. This right here is a massive tree that I was told that about an hour ago, with those straight line winds, those heavy winds that we saw move through the area, just snapped this massive tree. I cannot explain how massive it is. You can see it, it snapped there toward its base, and then it fell all the way across the street, taking down power lines with it. And it is so close, if, if, uh, Eric, if you could kind of pan over, I wanna be able to show people how close it is with nearly hitting a house over here, uh, come within just about maybe an inch or two, maybe a foot, if that, from uh, taking out uh, part of this house over here. Again, this happened just within the past hour. I've been able to speak with some neighbors. They say that they have, uh, or they're in the dark right now. They are trying to make accommodations because like us, they are monitoring that Duke outage map to where you see several thousand people. In fact, I think there's about five to 6,000 people just within this area who are without power. So this is something that we're going to be keeping an eye on. Uh, again, still trying to, to get a full scope of just how widespread this damage here in this area. Once I have more information, I will do my best to update on my social media platforms as well as here online and on the website. Daniel, while we have you, it looks like you could see that that tree yeah. came across obviously on one house. Is that just one house or are there two houses that are involved? And you see some neighbors out there right now. Any indication if anybody was inside or if everybody's okay? So uh, that, that's a good question. One indication, no one has been hurt in this situation. And yes, the tree is from one house and then it fell all the way across the street uh, into another. Is this, is this a house or is this a duplex? Townhouses. It's townhouses, okay. Six townhouses, Six townhouses but, no, but nobody was hurt, correct? Okay, okay, so uh, uh, six townhouses over here. <laughs> Uh, no one was hurt. They're, they're just saying that there's, they're thankful just a little bit of gutter damage, and that is good news to hear, and hopefully that is going to be a reoccurring story that no one is hurt and no significant damage in this area. Yeah, Daniel, I can, I can only imagine the sound of that tree being so big it is when it just came across. Daniel Pierce, live for us.